everyone, Miss Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today we will be studying the second grade science book, Pebbles, Sand, and Silt, Investigation 2, River Rocks, Part 1 and 2, River Rocks by Size and Screening River Rocks. Question, how can rocks be sorted by size? Let's find out. Today we will be investigating earth materials that came from the edge of a river like the one in this picture. This is a mixture of river rocks. A mixture is when two or more substances are mixed together. What properties can we observe about the rocks in this mixture? We can observe colors, shapes, how they feel, and their sizes. Our focus question for today is, how can rocks be sorted by size? One way is by hand. The science journal sheet titled, River Rocks by Size, shows us that if it fits in this little box, it goes into the sand circle. If it fits in this little box, it goes into the gravel circle. And if it fits in this big box, it goes in the pebble circle. So let's see if we can separate some of our rocks using this method. Can you imagine separating all of these rocks one by one with your hand? Seems kind of tedious. Can you think of another way to sort rocks? Do you know what this is? This is called a screen. A screen allows some things to go through, but not others. And screens can be used to sort rocks by using the property of size. We can use the screen with the largest holes to filter out the pebbles. We can probably separate the pebbles further into large pebbles and small pebbles. The next screen size can filter out the large gravel. And the screen with the smallest holes can separate the sand from the small gravel. So let's go ahead and screen the rest of our earth materials. remove the large pebbles by hand. And then we'll get the next size screen. To separate out the large gravel.
And then the smallest screen to separate the sand from the small gravel. And that just leaves us the sand. So let's look at our earth material separated. There's the sand, the small gravel, the large gravel, the small pebbles, and the large pebbles. Next, take out the science journal sheet titled Screening River Rocks and answer the question, how can rocks be separated by size? Write down your answer below or draw a picture of how you can separate river rocks by using screens. Do you see any similarities between the sand, the gravel, and the pebbles? Did you know that the sand probably looked like the pebbles at one point? What do you think happened? Do you remember the effect on the rocks when we rub them together? How do you think this happens in a river? Let's read the story of sand to find out. The story of sand. Have you ever looked at one grain of sand and thought, I wonder how it got so small? A grain of sand wasn't always so small. It might have once been part of a boulder. The boulder could have broken off a mountain. The boulder could have tumbled down the mountain. Maybe the boulder rolled into a river. Water in a river can move rocks. The rocks bump together in the water. The boulder might have broken into cobbles and pebbles. Cobbles are bigger than pebbles. Maybe the river carried the pebbles to the ocean. Ocean waves crash over pebbles. The pebbles might have broken into gravel. Pebbles are bigger than gravel. Wind and water move and rub rocks together. Over time, rocks break apart. They can get smaller and smaller. They can break into very tiny rocks. This is called weathering. These tiny rocks are grains of sand. Compare the sand from different places. This sand is from Corpus Christi, Texas. This sand is from Dawson City, Texas. This sand is from Green Sands Bay in Hawaii. And this sand is from Plum Island in Massachusetts. This sand is from Cape Hatteras National Seashore in North Carolina. And this sand is from Dick's Beach, also in North Carolina. Next time you build a sand castle, think about the story of sand. Thinking about the story of sand, put these rocks in order by size, from the largest to the smallest. You have sand, boulders, gravel, cobble, and pebbles. Tell the story of sand. Now let's review our vocabulary words for today. Mixture. A mixture is two or more substances that are mixed together. Properties. Properties are traits of matter used to describe objects. Screen. A screen is a type of mesh used to capture or filter particles. Boulder. A boulder is anything 10 inches across or greater. And boulders break apart to become cobbles. And cobbles break down into pebbles. And pebbles break down into gravel. And gravel breaks down into sand. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about screening river rocks and the story of sand. Until next time, have a great day.